Fit like Abdi, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 on the UK map. We are following our London North Western Railways DX Goods train. It's getting 52 bread, which is awesome. It's heading to Gloucester, where Gloucester turns into food, apparently, or a shopping trolley, according to the, the little picture. But today, uh, we've got that food up and running. We've got a service going out to Gloucester. We also got mail coming out here as well. Hopefully that'll start to grow. Uh, we are gonna head up north and we're gonna do like a Scottish East Coast railway. We're gonna start in Aberdeen, work our way down to Dundee, across to St Andrews and off to Edinburgh. Now Aberdeen, uh, I stay like roughly up, up about here. Uh, this weird mountain thing doesn't really exist, or not, not to my knowledge, or not that I've seen. But anyway, we'll start at Aberdeen. Now, we're going to delete this, actually. Now, Aberdeen uh, is like the main port for like the oil and gas in the North Sea. There is some oil here. There's a shame that you don't get like oil rigs and stuff. That would be pretty cool. But yep. Back in the days, there was a train that head up the Buchan line to Peterhead, Ellen, Fraserburgh, uh, all that places, because there was lots of stuff happening up there. Mostly these are fishing towns up here, and you've got Banff, that's a fishing town. Uh, there is some fish over here. But yep, yeah, Aberdeen, and then there's a through station, because the train from Aberdeen also goes through Inverness. It heads all the way down... To London and the London, the LNER, the London Northeastern Railway, which is pretty cool. And the Caledonian Sleeper also comes through here, comes up the east coast of Scotland, goes through Aberdeen, and heads off to Inverness. So, but we're only going to do the east coast today. So let's have a look. Now, I'm, I'm quite taken by these stations. Now, Aberdeen is a station I've seen many, many times. It's something I'm well familiar with and it doesn't look like this there's like three or four uh terminus uh platforms and there's a long two-way platform for the trains heading out to inverness there's also a yard just outside it for storing cottages and locos and the freight normally comes in down past alongside the harbor you don't actually see it, it branches off there is a line that heads around the back through Aberdeen, takes stuff down to the harbour. So I've actually been to the Aberdeen freight station. I've actually had some of the gear from my work be transferred on train and had to go down to inspect it as it was being offloaded. So it was pretty cool. But yeah, we're going to get this station in right about here. And we'll change it as the times go on. So we'll leave that. Now the main bus terminal is also right next to the train station. There's also a large uh, shopping mall or shopping centre uh, called Union Square. Uh, and the bus terminal would be right here. It basically goes everywhere. National Express all the way down to London Town. So we'll probably, we will get the, well, obviously we'll need a bus stop, so bus station in there, yep, that's nice we shall configure you to have secondary street access, that's nice uh, what else do we need? streets, yep so let's pop you in there let's pop you in there very nice, that is connected to that, yep. So that is done, we'll get the commuter route set up first and foremost. Now where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? We want to sort of go over here, there is mail here which is fine. Uh, we'll go around this way, go around that way, and then head back up to there. Yeah, 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 yeah. right, that sounds good. So let's have a look, one, two, three and four. Uh, this will be red because it's a commuter and abs. 
That's what that's what the airport designation is. Is OBS. So we'll maybe just make it Aber, right? Aber. Com one. Aberdeen commuter one. Right. It's going in and heading through. That is excellent. We'll keep the game playing. Uh, as you can see, we've still got 130 million dollars of gifted money. <laughs> And uh, let's get one, two, three, four for that. Set it on Aberdeen. Off it goes. Now, we're going to head, this line normally heads out through Aberdeen. Uh, it does bridge. There is a river, the River Dawn. It bridges over that. And then it sort of like, it's those like, uh, if you've ever watched the standards for the people that live in the UK, there's the arches, uh, which are basically a bridge, but they've built like, uh, vehicle workshops and gyms and textile stores and stuff like that so it heads out over them stuff like that and then it comes along the coast it stops in many other places before it gets to Dundee, Port Lethen, Sandhaven, Montrose obviously there's not enough room to get all those cities in the map but yep that's where it actually goes so we'll head towards the coast the motorway, or dual carriageway, actually does run pretty much parallel uh, to the train line. It sort of criss crosses a couple of times, which is kind of strange. It doesn't just stay on one side. Don't know why it needs to crisscross. I guess because there are uh, smaller towns that are sort of right-hand side and left-hand side of the dual carriageway. Now, we've already got vehicles using this. Don't mind that. Now Dundee, which is our next stop, its railway station is actually right next to, uh, this is like the River Tay. So there's the River Tay here, you cross over the River Tay and you head out to, you don't actually head out to St Andrews. The closest train station to St Andrews is Lukers. Now, Lukers is a small place, uh, there's an RAF Air Force base there, and that town was basically made for the personnel of the base. They hold an air show there, I think it used to be every year. I don't think they do it so much anymore. It's pretty cool, I used to go there a lot when I was a kid. Uh, my stepfather had, his mother and father lived in Dundee, so we were often up there visiting them, and they would take us across to St Andrews and Lukers. Uh, obviously St Andrews, home of the old course, uh, I've played in there a couple of times, did not do so well back in my younger golfing days. Now, train station for Dundee is going to be out here. It should be here on the banks of the River Tay. It actually tunnels under the city. It pops out and then it pops out along this road here. And then it crosses over this road and bridges over the River Tay on the way to Lukers. There is a small... Uh, town on the other side called Tayport uh, but obviously we don't have that but we're going to take it out this way because it's going to be easier for me to get round and go this way so one line branches off grows across the River Tay the other line carries straight on and heads on to Perth in Glasgow so we'll get that in as well now probably going to have to make this station here a three. Yes, we want two, a double track, and we want a single track to head off to Perth in Glasgow. Right, out about there seems nice. Pretty far out of the city, but it will do. Tracks, let's pop these two in here. Let's pop these ones and here, excellent. Now we'll head you off around the back of this industry here. Is it industry? No, I think it's no, it's residential housing. It's quite nice with the trees here. I like this. Now we want to bridge over this, but we also want to get the station in at St Andrews as well. Now, also as I said before, it's not doesn't actually go into St Andrews 
I think it's like sort of like five miles out or ten miles out or something. It's been it's been so long since I've been there. Uh, to St Andrews. It is a nice place. If you ever get the chance, you should definitely go. Obviously, it's a hot spot for golfing enthusiasts. Now, I think we'll bring this round to about there. Now, this is actually a steel bridge. Uh, there was a... The T Bridge actually has a story behind it that the one, the bridge that's there now isn't the original bridge. The original bridge actually collapsed into the river uh, while a train was going across it. There is a museum in Dundee that uh, shows you everything, uh, how the bridge collapsed, why, etc. So the second bridge is like, the next bridge that's there is like the second second coming of Tay Bridge. So I think a few people died. I think it was at night as well. So it's a real shame. But the second bridge is obviously much better. We also have this, the Tay Road Bridge. And that's also a thing. Now if I've made this a three. Do I need to make this a three? I suppose we could leave it as a three. And like have this head out to Glasgow or something. Uh, but Edinburgh, yeah, Edinburgh is going to be interesting. I would like to get Edinburgh Station up the back here, if possible. Now, we're going to have to delete that. Now, Edinburgh Station, again, goes into the heart of the city. There's obviously this probably would be the best example. So this train would rock up here. There's a huge hill here, and on top of it is Edinburgh Castle. As the train comes in, you can actually look up, uh, if you're coming from the north, you look up the right hand side, you can actually see the castle. Again, it mostly tunnels underneath the city to get in. But because this is transport fever and tunneling can be complicated without really demolishing the whole of the city. Now we'll make this, I'm going to make this a six. It's quite a grand station as well. It's got terminuses at each side and then left and right hand side uh, there's through lines for heading obviously to Glasgow and heading up north or south in fact I'll have that go right in there because I think I can connect I think I can connect that road up now we've got slightly ahead of ourselves uh, ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Oh yeah, you head out there like so. Give me a straight bit that goes across there. Awesome. You head across there. Awesome. And you head to there. <coughs> so the main bus station in Dundee isn't actually near the train station. It's in the centre. Uh, the centre of the city. Uh, where am I going? I want buildings. I want that. I want you to sit nicely. There. It looks like a building may be removed in the future. In fact, we'll get that set up first. Configure. Give me that. Now, I think what we can do here... Streets. Pop that across there like so. It is on a hill. That could be interesting. Ah, it's okay. Let's also upgrade that, and that, and that, and that. Get sort of medium street on the go. There we go. Get rid of that hideous, really small street. I will obviously let the, the small street go at some point. Uh, but it has to be right around the outskirts. Don't want any small street in the centre of town, uh, or any town for that matter. Right, we want to go here possibly, there possibly, there. That should cover anything. Now we've already got uh, Dundalk over in Ireland. 
So we're just gonna make this D. Dundee. D com one. There we go. I think we'll get the road depot out here. Next to this mail. Yep. Let's get four of one, two, three, four. Set them on D one, D com one. There we go. Off the pop. Now heading over here, St Andrews, right. Will this fit in here? Probably not. No. I mean we could have that going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick that in there. Got a plan for this. All is not lost. And um, buildings, no. Just just road. You come out there like so. Can you sneak past this? You can't. Excellent. Hook that onto there. We'll get second road connection on here. Nice. And we'll head out that way. I'm also going to demolish this building and get that out there as well. Right, St Andrews is looking good. Any small street we can upgrade? No, I think I've done most of this. I'd like to upgrade that. And this. I mean, Dundee and St Andrews are really close. Uh Let's upgrade. Ah, you already are. That's not though. I mean, a lot of people are going to be using this, so I think we'll do that. Alright, that's better. Uh, perfect. Okay, right. The commuter route buildings. So we want to go this way, about to there, about here probably, and about there probably. New line, let's go one, two, three, four. <coughs> let's make it red, and let's rename it St. Andrew, so we'll go S-T-E-N-D. Com one, St Andrew's commuter one, perfect. Perfect, right, we're heading out this way. The fourth rail bridge goes across here. We'll try and get a bridge over there and swing it round. Uh, oh, no, not station, please. Just this. Now it does head along the river for uh, the fourth river. And then it crosses over. Very old bridge, fourth road bridge. Pretty cool as well. I actually knew a guy that used to work on the fourth road bridge. And he was like a he was like an anti corrosion engineer. It was his job to check corrosion levels on the bridge and designated what areas needed the like the rust proof coating. On certain parts of the bridge and stuff. Did a lot of abseil and stuff. And then after that, he came to work in the oil and gas industry. Ooh, that's a bit strange. We'll maybe flatten that. I mean, there is a road as well that we're going to have to get going that goes to Starling and Glasgow. But yep, yeah, you are going to go on there. <coughs> Perfect. Right, that is pretty much the route. Now, there is, well, nowadays. An actual train that just goes from Aberdeen to Edinburgh. There's the London North Eastern Railway that continues on to London. 
we'll have several routes for that. I mean, they will. The routes will cannibalize each other. That's why it's kind of annoying that you don't have a uh, sort of like timetable and stuff. That would be a neat addition to the game. So, like previously in Manchester, we had the Manchester to Birmingham train, but as soon as the intercity train was made, it uh, basically cannibalized that Birmingham and Manchester Express route, which happens pretty much in every line. Even the goods, if there's a city that requires more goods than another city, the other city sort of gets snuffed out, unfortunately. Right, we're going to delete that because we're no longer using, we've still got the mod installed, but we're no longer actually using it. <laughs> Right, so St Andrew's commuter is done, there are no vehicles on there yet, let's get some. Uh, buildings, head you over, I think we'll do a route to Glasgow as well, there was actually a Glasgow and I think it was Glasgow Carlisle Railway or something, up at the border, uh, but there doesn't seem to be any mods for it installed, we're only going to get three for this one because it's quite a small commuter route. St Andrew's commuter 1. Right, now we'll, we'll do the train that goes from Edinburgh to Glasgow. We could do. Don't know where the station in Glasgow is going to go. First I was going to have it up here and then I was going to have it over here. I mean, ultimately, it's going to head out this way to Carlisle. And it's going to have to head out to Edinburgh, come in from Perth and Stirling. Come in from Aberdeen as well. Because there is a route that goes Aberdeen, Dundee, Perth, Stirling, and out. And we are going to have to come from Inverness as well, down past Fort William. Or up through Arvey Moor, but we can come Fort William down here and then come from Oban. Yep, so I think we really want it over here. So all this stuff is going to have to go. Unfortunately, we'll pause the game. Uh, buildings, yep. We'll make that a six as well. Oops. My bad. Now, if for those of you who hadn't noticed, uh, my voice is kind of quiet today. It's because uh, the missus is actually asleep. And even though I don't sound that loud, apparently, because the bedroom is like right next to where my little office is, uh, she can't actually hear me recording. <laughs> but, with the magic of Sony Vegas, I should be able to make my voice louder. Right, Glasgow has totally gone to town on these little streets. I think I've, I think I've got them all. Yep. Now, Edinburgh actually has a tram system. It's quite new. <coughs> now, where am I going to come from? So, Fort William down here. And then down there. We'll probably just get an intercity bus route. And that goes to Fort William. I don't think the train goes from Oldman up to Fort William. I think this line just branches on, in real life, that is. So we'd want to come out this way at some point. I think what we'll do is, we'll go for left hand side. We'll probably have to add more platforms, but we'll go left hand side. Through this weird set, set up of trees here. 
Are they trees? I think they're like bushes. Yeah, they're like brush or something. You continue along. No sign of bridge or anything yet. Which is fine. Is that a bridge? That oh, looks like a bridge. In fact, I like that. That is staying. <laughs> Pop you into this side. Yep. Now, does this line branch off into Sterling? I can't actually remember. At some point it will come down from Sterling and then go into there. I think we could have like a branch off line. We'll maybe take it from here. Right, so that's for a future project. Uh, I do believe this is gone. No, it's okay. Right, if we do it from this side, it will work. There we go. And then head down, please. Or head down along here. For the minute. And then head over there. Because we'll need to think about freight as well. It's something I've sort of been neglecting. I mean, we'll have to actually. I'll have to actually research that route. Right, but we'll get the tram line set up here in Edinburgh. Now the tram actually goes to a place called Haymarket that comes out to Edinburgh Airport, which is out here. Uh, you actually pass it. If you're coming from the north, you pass Edinburgh Airport. It's got its own little train station. So I think when the time comes, we'll have the airport out here. Not sure where freight goes. I think it goes along the riverside. I mean, Glasgow also has a river that goes through it. Obviously, it's not here, but that's unfortunate. I might actually mess about with the rivers later. Try and get some of them in. Uh, I kind of want to join up these tracks just for aesthetics. Right, let's configure. Tram track, yes. Right, so you are tram tracked up to the max. We then want that. We want to come out here. Out there. Down there, down there, down there. Now, do I want to go along? Do I want to go right along the back? I kind of do. And then I want to go up here, to there, to there, to there. To there. Okay, perfect. Buildings. Give me streets. I think I am gonna. Uh, streets, no. Uh, these things. I think I'm gonna have these ones go this way. So we'll have one here. One down the bottom there. One in the middle there. One in the middle here, and we'll say one in the middle there. Right, new line. One, two, three, four, five, and six. E D I tram. Uh, let's click on the station. If we can, let's change the color if we can. I mean, I know I can. Is that the right color? No, slightly lighter. Maybe one down. There we go. Perfect. Right, Edinburgh tram is almost set to go. Now, we're going to need tram depot somewhere. Hmm. I mean, 
And let's try and sneak it right on this corner. Right, sneaked it was. Perfect. Right. One, two, three, four. Set you on EDI tram. And then we can push play again because we've got the, the buildings. We've got all the stations and stuff in that we actually need. Let's try and smooth out some of this. We've got that bridge, but I don't mind that bridge. I think it looks pretty cool. Right, now. Diamonds and signals. Let's get them in. Uh, one. Two. Will we use the British signals for these? Oh, it doesn't let me put this in the middle. Really? Okay. Goodbye, British signal. Uh, normal signals, yeah. One. And two. Probably because the trade would probably hit this on the way past. That's okay. Damage is irrelevant. Quite a nice route, this. Through the trees and stuff. Definitely one we'll ride on board with... Uh, when we come to do the fast forwarding of time which we'll be doing soon there's a couple more routes I want to get up and roll and, and then we'll fast forward to 1870 see if some more trains pop out now a couple of days ago there was a lot of UK train mods removed fortunately we hadn't used any of them a lot of them were like great western stuff that I was actually looking forward to using, but now they're they're gone, unfortunately. Luckily, we were still in 1850, so we hadn't used any of them yet. Uh, while we're here, we'll be as well getting this done as well. So one and two. One and two. And just before the bridge here. Possibly just after. Now again we're going to be using those British generic engines. Which really are a godsend. Because even though there were railways in Scotland, Wales and Ireland. With their own separate names. Uh, it's up to the modders if they want to create them. If they don't, then we just have to run standard stuff. And Transport Fever Vanilla doesn't bring out any sort of UK trains till much later on. Roundabout Flying Scotsman, Mallard sort of time. <coughs> Some of them are German, Swiss, Austrian, etc, etc. Right, you've built that there. I'm not sure if I'm happy about that. Possibly not, because I'm going to have to get a depot in. I do also have to set up a commuter route in Glasgow. Right, buildings, train depot. And uh, let's have you give the option to cross over to whichever lane you so please. Now we're going to have two trains on this or just one? I think one for the moment. Just still the sort of line embeds itself in. Now this is being extremely awkward. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Just go across. Weirdly, there's a section there that will actually give me... Huh. That's weird. Okay, but we'll take it. We'll maybe move this depot out this way at some point. Uh, let's get the road set up though. Where is the bus station going to go here? 
No. Yes. Loving it. It's a bit of a distance away from the platform, but it is it is in range. Multiple vehicles in poor condition, yeah, we'll, we'll get that. That's one of the reasons I want to sort of cruise on to 1870 as well, to sort of get not so much better stagecoaches and stuff. I'm quite happy with the stagecoaches early game. It's the... The freight vehicles are very, very slow. Right, I'll actually do this first. Lest I forget. Now, for buses, we've sort of been going this way. Ooh. Glasgow is quite large. Indeed. Ah, now, I'm thinking that there, and then pop you out to there. A building will be removed, that's fine. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make you red. Change you to glass cob. One. Uh, let's get a depot in right here. And let's actually get something like one, two, three, four, five, six for this route because it's quite large. Uh, where are we going? Glasgow Com 1. Off we pop. Right, train routes. You line. You go there. You then pop off down to there. Edinburgh. Uh, hello, line A. Ah. Right, that's perfect. That is very nice indeed. Uh, train. Train from up here. So, again, we're going to go with this. Cabless, 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 reverse, blah, blah, blah. 31. This one's 40, right? Yep, 40. 40 is good. Uh, we want passengers, we want to use the London North Western Railway stuff. These do 50, the Teak four wheelers. Or we could use these. 45. I think for this one we'll use 1, 2, 3. No, 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 no. Go away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Capacity of 50, buy that. Set it on line 1, because we've not named it yet. Let's go and do that now, lest I forget. Line 1 will be Glass Edinburgh EXP. We'll have to colour it yellow. Perfect. I've not seen this train hauling these yet. But I do like them. For the other one, we'll do the same as Ireland. Uh, we'll get different variants. Right, one, two, three, and then four. And then the way back, go five, six, and then back to Aberdeen. Perfect. Right now, we're just going to be super lazy and add the depot straight onto the back of here. Uh, right, buy vehicles. So we want steam again. We'll take a forward facing version of this. We'll go passenger. Click on that. Go to the top so we get this right. Add one of those. Next one, add one of those. Next one, add one of those. Next one, add one of those. This one, add one of those. Perfect. Bye. <coughs> we then want to delete this. Go to Steam, go to multiple units actually. 
get the reversed one of this add uh, passenger go here so I'm going to add one of those add one of those add one of those one of these last but not least this one add buy back to steam forward facing yep <coughs> and then we want the other set so set number two this one one two three four five buy that <coughs> in fact we'll get this one rolling line one off you pop and uh, we'll get the last one going which is a reversed one of these add oops oh I could have just have moved that along I forgot you could do that idiot oh well We'll do it the old fashioned way. Right. So they're all good to go. We'll jump on board with this one. I think we'll wait for it to get to Dundee and then we'll release the next one after this. These look really good. Ah, he's like a worker. Like the brake van man. So there must be a brake van man in the back there. Yes, there is. Let's rename this as well. <coughs> <coughs> Damn you, autosave. Right, so we'll make this the Scottish North Eastern Railway ITC. There we go. Scottish North Eastern Railway ITC. Don't know if that's an actual thing, but it sounds cool, so we're keeping it. Look at this. I love these trees. They're awesome. Slight bit of lag when we're doing three times speed, but it's nothing too unbearable. I do like this, this train going through the trees like that. It's very, very nice. Right, so you're there. Let's pop the next one out. So it's going to be... There we go. Anybody on here yet? Yep, there is a person at the platform. This is Fool. Ace. Look at these little steam valves and stuff. It's awesome. Uh, three. Three people of 30. Awesome. Now we do have like the three wheeled carriages. Uh, where are they? By vehicles. So these. Now these are pretty cool but 52 miles an hour, we do actually have trains that can haul these. We'll use them soon, very, very soon. Uh, let's go to Steam. There's a couple of trains we've still to use. So we've used, we need to use the small bloomer. 35 miles per hour. We'll get that on the go. The Cornwall Rebuild does 71, that's amazing. And the problem does 50. So we'll figure out one or two routes. Uh, for those trains. There we go. There's our reverse. Look at these. This, is, I mean, these the detailing on these wagons is just spectacular. They're awesome. Excellent. Let's get the next one rolling.
S N E R. Off he pops. He's got the sort of lighter green wagons, which again are very nice. Off he pops. <laughs> Let's see where the first train actually is. So you're at Dundee. You've stopped here. You've been to Edinburgh and are now coming back. Okay. So I'll maybe wait till this one is halfway. It still has to stop at St Andrews on the way back. Looks like these two are coming in perfect timing. You're about there. Maybe when it gets to this food factory, we'll release the next one. Ah, it's just in there. Anyone for the way back? Yep, nine. Awesome. Right. Where are you, buddy? You're just down there. Okay, let's get, last but not least, up and rolling. So there you have it, the Scottish North Eastern Railway. I'll have to Google that, see if it's an actual thing, but we've made it a thing. I love these generic British steam engines and the wagons. They're awesome. Kudos to the mod maker that made them. Right, so this one will pop off. We'll have a quick look at our Glasgow train. There it is. Hello. Excellent. 19 of 50. Not made a penny yet, but it probably will at some point. But yep, we're going to leave it there for that episode. So as always, if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like, comment or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you'd like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. I've been Danny Boy, this has been Transport Fever 2, and I will catch us later.